bilirubin monitor is intended to uh, be used on a baby, newborn baby. Uh, sometimes the baby's liver doesn't work well enough and the baby develops what's called jaundice or hyperbilirubinemia. If the baby starts developing jaundice and if it looks like the baby needs treatment and blue light therapy is started, then there's no way to know if that therapy is working or how well it's working unless more blood is drawn at the present time. So we hope that this monitor can be used to monitor the baby during light therapy. This program now will send out signals to the motors over there and cause the pumps to move and that will simulate the baby. So we're in the process now of making baby skin that has a heartbeat. So it's going to be pulsing like this. Here are the photo detectors that's on the other side of the skin. So everything between the photo detectors and the LEDs is going to be the simulation of the skin. We have two LEDs, one blue and one green LED. And here we can control the brightness of the LED. Maybe you've seen these in the hospital. These are put on a patient's finger called a pulse oximeter. We want to build a physical simulator. This is the apparatus that we're going to use for that purpose. It has syringes. We can use a computer program to push that syringe up and down. The way this is fluctuating up and down, that is supposed to simulate how the light would get dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter each time the baby's heart beats. I'm really excited because I'm learning more, and, but the best part is the feeling that uh, this project uh, maybe one day can help someone. It's been really good because I, I'm learning a lot here and uh, I can help with the project and I, I think it's really good for both of us. It's been a delight to work with these two guys from Brazil. They have done an amazing job, I think, getting this far on this project. They've made the electronics, computer program, got the mechanical simulation working, now we have the optical. Thank <laughs> you.